Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Well, the month is June, and about a month ago, Frontier announced an official Starship database on their website. I completely nutly missed this, as I think did an awful lot of commanders, and I was a little bit surprised to find a Facebook post detailing that this was now on the website. So, I rushed over and had a quick look to see what it's all about. And if I missed it, I bet a lot of other people missed it as well. At the top of this, let's say, Starship database, I think we can honestly say it's going to give us some stats and the ability then to drill down into each one of the individual ships. Clicking on a good old favourite, and I've got to mention that the Cobra Mark IV and Viper Mark IV is nowhere to be seen, but then they're not widely available in-game unless you were a Kickstarter or a backer. It has a list of all the ships that are available. So let's click on the one for the adder. Takes us into the adder side of things. Here we go. Look, there's the adder. Gives a little description, a little bit of the nose cone by here. And then we've got down here stats. So obviously no fighter bay. It's got one seat for multi-crew. You can get it on a small landing pad. So some quite interesting information. But seeing as the game has been out for more than 10 years... 10 years and a couple of months, should we say. Um, why now? Is what people are asking. Here we have got, you know, all the other cosmetics you can put on. This is quite a nice little feature. Yes, you've got ship kits you can bolt onto your ship and all the really expensive paint jobs you can pop on there too. Also with all the cockpit customizations. The community, however, have met with this with a little bit of skepticism. Um, as I say, well, hmm, is this a precursor to selling the ships like Star Citizen? Nobody really knows. All I can say is, it's an addition on the website that's giving us a little bit more information on the ships you can get in the game. Going back to the main list again, of course, we've got the big ones up here. The Python Mark II, yes. Uh, Alliance Chieftain, Type 9 Heavy. Soon we'll have one for the Type 8. Clicking on something else we've got here, the multi-crew seats, you can see highlighted in orange. Yeah, brilliant. Frame shift drive. Yeah, brilliant. You know, all this. Good information, don't get me wrong, but why now? An interesting feature for this, especially for new players or people just getting into the game, you can also search by ship manufacturer. Clicking on the drop-down box, all the favourites are here so far. Core Dynamics, Falcon de Lacy, Guatemea, Lake on Spaceways, Saud Kruger and Zorg Peterson. So, okay, this gives us a little breakdown of what ships by manufacturer are currently in the game. Good. Good for us. Isn't that fantastic? Another good feature as well is the add to comparison option that's here. So here we've got the typical further lance. I'm a great proponent of the further lance. We're going to add that to a comparison. There it is. And then we're going to add it to another comparison. So let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Where is it? Python Mark II. Boom. There you go. And it'll give you a good comparison straight away of between the stock levels of each ship. You can also add in a third. So, oh, I don't know. Where's that old Mamba? Those are the fighters, aren't they? There. And you can see exactly what's going on. So the ship comparison to the further lands. Python Mark II. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. According to this, the top speed of the Python Mark II here, the Mamba is faster. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, although, you know, you've got better frame shift drive options. This is a heavier ship than what this is, obviously. Um, what we can see in comparison to the further lands as well, it's a good way of comparing your ships, is what I'm saying. You can then remove that particular item. Add that to a comparison. Let's say the good old Beluga liner. There you go. You've got all your comparison stats here. So a good way of doing those comparisons, I suppose. And a good little feature on the website. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the page. Talks a bit about what multi-crew is. Again, it's, it's plugging all the customizations on the store. 
but it is a good way i suppose of doing comparisons and seeing what the ship can do without messing about with any third party tools although you could say third party tools are better anyway my bean ricardo this has been a quick look at the elite dangerous official starship database available online i'll put the link in the description let me know what you think is it too little too late is it things we already knew are you going to be using it who knows i'll see you soon